Uh, hello, everyone, and greetings to you all from Nepal. I'm actually at the center of Patan right now. So Patan, uh, even in Patan, this is actually the uh, palace complex. So I will just show you the view around. So currently, you can see the Patan Darbar. That is a Patan Palace. Thank you. So all the temples. So uh, previously, the should be exhibited, but, but then they're actually um, sort of like having a virtual tour of this exhibition here. Yeah. So the exhibit, this is a traditional Tanka art exhibition. And this is a museum and collection of decorative art and design, as well as we will be entering. So that's the golden gate of the Patton Museum. And then over there is the uh, museum gift shop. So at the center is the Kesav Narayan um, temple at the center. So this is the complex of the museum. Well, uh, Patan Museum, or let us say the Patan Darbar it, uh, itself, the Patan Palace, it's actually built in, um, well, it is uh, said that it was actually built the foundation of uh, Lichubi period, which was in between 3rd AD to 9th AD. And the palace complex itself was actually built in 1734. So later, the, you know, uh, this palace was actually converted into the museum. So now we are entering the temporary exhibition area. And we are here in the exhibition hall now. So this is the temporary exhibition hall of the Patton Museum. All right. So uh, uh, this exhibition is actually um, you know, organized by the Heritage Circle Private Limited. It's a, a private company. So this is the first exhibition uh, organized by them. And uh, it actually was held in two venues. One was in the Taragao Museum and the next is here in the Patan Museum. So regarding the exhibition, there was an open call which was made for uh, the, you know, the artist. So regarding that, like uh, through the open call, there were like two, calls which were made for the existing artwork as well as for the new artwork. And, um, you know, for the open call, there were like 28 artists who actually entered. And then there were three uh, Himalayan art collectors. Um, besides them, there were eight uh, museum, sorry, eight uh, shops and galleries. So altogether 50 artists as well as
Himalayan art collectors and figures, arahats or mandalas. So basically, most of the um, titles were related with the uh, Buddhism. Right. So let us start with the tour. So here we have a Superman Paradise. is painted by Uttar Baha 52 centimeter. This is one of the new artwork which was completed in 2022. Next, well, the Tomorrow is uh, Buddha Purnima, which is celebrated as the birth and Mahaparinirvana of the Shakyamuni Buddha. It's painted by artist Purnamgil. Uh, this painting is 79 by 107 centimeter long. And the style is slightly different. So this uh, style actually resembles uh, the style of Japanese or then the um, Korean, you know, uh, court drawings or paintings. about the um, Himalayan art or the Tanka art is that uh, there is a very, very, uh, you know, generous use of pure gold. So here you can see all these shines. These are actually pure gold, which are generally matte in, you know, uh, whenever you see it, they, they look very matte, but then after polishing, they give this metal shine. Our next artwork is uh, the mandala of Guru Padmasambhava, where at the center is the Guru Padmasambhava with his consort, two of his consorts. All right. So here, outside, you can see eight manifestations of his. Uh, this artwork is painted by Hazar Singh Lama, and this uh, artwork is 98 by 68 centimeter long. And this is one of the oldest artwork here, which was painted in 1985. Next, we have, uh, so we call him uh, one of the Dharmapalas, the protector of eight, you know, like one of the protector of eight direction. This is painted by artist Saila Lama, and the size is 51 by 38 centimeter. And not just that, this is one of the very important painting because uh, artist Saila Lama, he belongs to this, uh, you know, the, um, the family of household monks and uh, they have been practicing Thangka art for the past eight generations. So one of the most important, uh, you know, paintings uh, related with Thangka is the Samsara or the, we call uh, Wheel of Life. This is actually in a frame itself. So previously the frames like these ones, the frames used to be a wooden frame but the now it has shifted to a metal or iron frames. So you can see the samsara. This talks about the karmas, reincarnations or rebirths and how, uh, you know, like uh, also 12 dependent links, sorry, 12 links of dependent originations. And together with this, we actually have a miniature artwork. 
this artwork is a five by four centimeter in size and it's painted by Uttar Bahadur Tama. And uh, this is also one of the newest uh, artwork which was completed in 2022. And not just that, this uh, size of paintings are generally used as amulets, uh, especially for protection and all. Well, uh, the samsara, this is one of the special painting because this is painted by a husband and wife, uh, Kesar Bahadur Tamang and Gyani Maya Tamang. So this was completed in 2021. And next we have a king of Sambala. So this is actually from a private collection of Lama Tanka Center. The size is 76 by 53 centimeter and it was uh, completed in 2018. So there are Buddhas at the top, uh, the syllabus, which represents the Kala Chakra teachers and then the Bodhisattvas. The color style is slightly unique because generally in the Himalayan art, we don't see gray, you know, uh, gray gradations. But then in this one, you can see, uh, you know, different color. Next, we have uh, a Bodhisattva as well as a Buddha. Sometimes we refer even the Maitreya as a Bodhisattva too. So let's go closer. Uh, this Bodhisattva is referred as Kistigarva and this is painted by artist Jigme Tama. Uh, size is 75 by 44 centimeter, which was completed in 2022. And this is one of the, uh, you know, like, um, different painting because uh, this bodhisattva is generally portrayed as a monk, you know, uh, but then in this, you can see him being portrayed as a bodhisattva and also in a color green, which is like the only reference found is in um, Sadhana Mala. Next, we have uh, Buddha Maitreya or Sometimes people also refer uh, him as the Bodhisattva Maitreya. The artist is Ser Bahadur Tamang. Um, the painting size is 61 by 46 centimeter. Well, it was completed in 2021. Next, we have a uh, Martang uh, style of Tanka of Vajrayogini because of the light. I'm pretty sure you, a lot of you cannot see it properly, but well, in this style, the paint, you know, the, the background is painted in red, whereas all the details are generally done in gold. This is painted by artist Mingma Chiring Guru. Uh, he is actually a monk as well as uh, an artist. So this was completed in 2022 and its size is 39 by 30 centimeter. Next we have White Tara, referred as the Bodhisattva of Compassion and she is especially worshiped for longevity. Uh, it was uh, painted in 2020 and the size is 60 by 44 centimeter. It's painted by artist Pimbahadur Lama. Next, we have Green Tara. So this is painted by artist Man Bahadur Lama. Uh, the size is 85 by 55 centimeter and this is currently completed in 2022. So the major thing about Tanka is that there are a lot of meanings behind what is being portrayed. Like you can see, you know, uh, the background designs, the offering down at the bottom. So they all have meanings. The ones at the background generally refers to the uh, paramitas, uh, uh, 
uh, of Tipura, whereas at the bottom are the uh, offerings which are related with the offering of five senses. So the five senses refers to the like sight, taste, touch, all of these. All right. Next, we have a really, really uh, important uh, collection. So this is applique actually, uh, which is made by, you know, cutting um, different patterns of silk and later stitching them together and uh, embroidering um, so that, you know, the whole piece can be joined. So this is uh, made by artist Nima Tama in 2022. Its size is 70 by 50 centimeter. So you can see the details. Tanka is majorly based in um, iconography and iconometry. That means like all the deities which are being painted, they have this, uh, you know, a text referring to the color, to the positions they have related with the sitting posture, uh, you know, the hand gestures, everything. So here we have Buddha. This is painted by artist uh, Rinjan Wangil Guru. Uh, so this is actually painted for this exhibition itself in 2022. Its size is 31 by 20 centimeter. And the major uh, you know, highlight of the painting is actually the six ornaments that is painted you know, all, to, you know, all around. So the elephant, the lion, griffin, dwarf, you can see a maka half serpent uh, type of character as well as a Garuda at the top. So they all refer to the um, you know, parameters or we call it a six perfections of the Buddha. So the term that I was actually referring to that is the iconography and iconometry. This painting actually talks about it. And this painting is also painted the, the uh, you know, under the new painting. And it was painted to describe the iconography and iconometry which are used in the tanka. So by the side, you can see all these lines which talks about iconometry, that is the proportions. Each, you know, uh, bodhisattvas, buddhas and deities, they have um, iconography, sorry, iconometry, that is the proportion. And to the other side, you can see which has been uh, painted, right? So this one actually refers to the iconography, like um, well, the color of the Buddha himself, the way he wears the robe, uh, his uh, you know sitting posture, his hand gestures, all of these. Next, we have two other miniatures. So this is Arya Tara, size is five by four centimeter. And uh, it was uh, completed in 2021. The artist is Myla Dom. Right. Next, we have Bodhisattva Samantha Bhadra. So its size is 4.5 by 3.5 centimeter. And the artist is Suman Bomzan. So all these tankas are actually painted in cotton canvas where different color mediums are used, where you know acrylic, mineral-based colors, poster colors, like different colors are used. And besides that, 24 karat of pure gold as well as silvers are also used. The next painting we have is Amahasiddha Tilopa. This is painted by artist Dirga Gisin. Uh, it was completed in 2022 and uh, well, he is one of the 84 Mahasiddhas who are very popular in a Vajrayana uh, system of teaching. Next, we have Seventh Karmapa. This is painted by artist Taraman Bomjan. Uh, this was completed in 2022 again, and the size refers to 88 by 50 centimeter. So let me show you a few of the details of the painting. Mm 
All right. Next, we have uh, two tankas. These are actually very, very special tankas. Uh, because first thing is that this is from one of the senior most artists, was Raj Lama. And next is that these two paintings are from his collection of picture book in which he's working on. There are 42 paintings. And these paintings are actually related with the retreat. Um, yeah, retreat refers to like the meditation uh, systems. So this... Um, figure refers to the Buddha Samantabhadra with his consort Samantabhadri. He is referred as the primordial Buddha. And the next we have uh, Datsun Ningpo. So he's one of the greatest teacher. Next we have Buddhas of three time. So this is painted by artist Man Bahadur Lama in 2022. The size is 69 by 48 centimeter. And the three Buddhas refers to the one here at the top, right? The one at the center, and then the other over here. So the three Buddhas are the uh, Dipankar Buddha, Shakyamuni Buddha, and then the Maitreya Buddha. The one at the top is the Bodhisattva Amitayu. Again, the six ornaments and two disciples at the bottom. Okay. Next, we have another very, very important painting in the uh, Tanka art. So this painting is uh, titled as Path to Enlightenment, in which uh, it shows the uh, relation between the body as well as mind and how the mind is tamed. So if you, if you would like to, like anybody would like to know more about this first, you can actually research about the title or we are actually producing a catalog of this exhibition and there is in-depth information related with this. And if anybody has questions, please uh, drop questions in the uh, chat box and we will you know, refer to that. The next is the 21 Tara. So this uh, 21 Tara, it came from uh, Rinchaling Tanka Gallery and Art School. And uh, the size is 85 by 50, 55 centimeter. That is the, the central painting size. Uh, this painting is from 2021. All right. And the next, uh, a very, very important uh, painting from a very, you know, like a very important teacher of the time. So this painting is from uh, Dal Bahadur Lama. Uh, he's actually teacher of a lot of uh, accomplished artists, Tanka artists. The Tanka is that of the sugar, uh, Namgyal Ma Mandala. So there are five, man you know, mandalas all together and a lot of protection deities around lot of intricate details like the outside is the fire of wisdom you can see the circle of all the bodhisattvas protectors the circle of lotus all right and then the bodhisattva nam gilma at the center Next, this is actually a very, very important corner for uh, this exhibition because at the center is actually a sketch. A lot of people are missing this, uh, maybe because you know we actually um, sort of hide it inside so that people cannot uh, directly, you know, have a direct contact with it. But then this is actually a pencil sketch. So while preparing a tanka, uh, you know, this is sort of the primary draft, which are you know. Uh, made. So nowadays people use these uh, techniques of tracing, but then the ori original designs are something like these. This refers to the um, assembly tree of Gelupa lineage. At the center is the Tsongkhapa, 
who is the initiator or, you know, uh, yeah, the initiator of the Gelupa lineage. So this uh, sketch is actually made by one of our uh, very, very, you know, like expert artists. So uh, his name is Saruplal Bomjan, and this was completed in 2021. So the size is actually 138 by 95 centimeter, making this our second biggest uh, exhibit of Kalpa. The other one was, you know, like a 10 feet tall, which we could not bring here because uh, because of the height issue. The other here we have is the thousand armed Avalokiteshwara with 11 head, two bodhisattvas, in the Taras, white Tara, and then the green Tara at the top is the Amitabha Buddha. Whereas at the bottom, you can see the Bodhisattva Manjushri there. and Bajrapani. So the brocade is a pure silk brocade. And the next is what, you know, uh, one of the major themed painting of uh, repuse or assembly tree in which the teachers as well as the Buddhas, um, the Bodhisattvas, all who are re related with one lineage are brought in a single tree. So sort of like a family tree itself. The primordial Buddha uh, Bajrathara at the center. And him at the top again. And then Sasi Mahasiddhas. and then the karma pass. Sorry. So the others are uh, Sajima, the 12 Tanma guardian deities. This is painted by the eldest artist of this exhibition. Uh, so he is Tupsang Gole Tama. He was born in 1947, and uh, this was actually completed in 20, sorry, 2001. It's the next we have Cosmic Mandala. So this is uh, one of the signature mandala of artist Prakash Tamang. The size is 42 by 42 centimeter. Next, we have the composition which relates with the life story of Buddha, Shakyamuni Buddha at the center. You can see the birth event at the top. Primordial Buddha, um, again, at the central top over here. Uh, paintings like uh, this actually relates with the 12 uh, major events of Buddha's life. Like this is the meditational phase over here. This is the phase in which he renounced the palace life. The story related with the Maras when he was uh, getting enlightened. The story of the Mahapur in Nirvana over here. And then his teachings. And next we have Guru Changi, that is the Guru Padma Sambhava with his eight manifestations. Next, we have 35 Buddha of Confession. So this is a collection from Buddha Stupa Thanka Center. 
Uh, it's a recent painting from 2022 and the size relates to 75 by 49 centimeter. A very, very special painting that came for the exhibition is this. So we actually could not identify the deity, which is portrayed here. This is from one of the youngest uh, Himalayan art collector, Ganesh Lama. Well, the size is 61 by 47 centimeter. And this is the oldest painting here, which is from 1975. So there are bodhisattvas around. And the protectors at the bottom. All right. So the title of the painting is Asana, actually. Uh, which is related with the different uh, body postures in which the deities are portrayed. Next, here we have uh, Buddha uh, Nageshwar Raza, so the king of the serpents, or then the Buddha serpents. This is actually from, this is also from this uh, Himalayan art collector uh, named Dili Prasad Oli. So the size is 70.5 by 48 centimeter. And this is painted in pure uh, mineral pigments as well as 24 karat gold. And well, the brocade is also pure silk. All right, next painting, we have four armed Avalokiteshvara. So this is also from the same collector, Dili Prasad Oli. Uh, it's also painted in the uh, mineral pigments mm, on cotton canvas with 24 karat pure gold, as well as mounted in the pure silk. The other one, we have the painting of Guru Rinpoche, also in the mineral pigment and pure gold. So this is painted by a nation of household monk practicing family. So this is how it looks. Well, at the top is all the, uh, you know, the wood. At the bottom, we have this uh, tiles, brick tiles. Another collection is related to the Kala Chakra Mandala. So this is a 50 by 50 centimeter, one of the smallest Kala Chakra Mandala, which is, uh, you know, which is found. Uh, this was painted in 2022, and this is painted by artist Tahal Lama, whereas the collection is from another youngest Himalayan art collector, Sanjo Lama. So you can see the details. Well, I don't know, like because I have tilted the camera, so you can see these um, scripts which are written inside the details. Well, this is one of the very, very popular mandala uh, because of the initiation by uh, uh, the Holy Dalai Lama. Next, we have Green Tara. This came from uh, the collection of Sara Enterprises and it was painted in 2021. The size refers to 54 by 41 centimeter. Uh, she is one of the compassion, uh, you know, compassionate Taras who are supposed to protect us from eight great fears, which are related to um, anger, 
uh, pride, attachment, ignorance, greed, jealousy, doubts, as well as false views. Next, we have a medicine Buddha. This came from the collection of Harmi Kathanka Art Gallery. Uh, the size is 60 by 43 centimeter and the year is 2018. So these are more of the new color styles that the Nepalese Tanka artists are painting. on. Next here we have the one and only a uh, female Dharmapala, that is the protection of the, sorry, protector of the direction. She is Palden Lamo, also referred as Sri Devi. So this is painted by artist Mingma Chirin Gurung. Uh, it's painted in 2018. The size is 51 by 38 centimeter. And she's the only uh, female protection deity uh, related with the Dharmapalas. Next, we have Buddha Sakyamuni. This came from the collection of Heritage Tanka Gallery. So the size is 85 by 55 centimeter and it was completed in 2021. Next is the applique painting. So this came from the Sharig uh, Handicraft Nepal. The artist is Nima Tama. And uh, this is also an applique, which is made by cutting the patterns of silk and embroidering them together. Next, we have Buddha Shakyamuni, again by the artist Mingma Chirin Guru. Uh, size is 37 by 28.5 centimeter. The one which we didn't uh, see it previously. Uh, so this is also a Martang style in which the background is uh, red, whereas the details are done by gold. Next is uh, Bajrapani. So this is painted by artist Pemba Sherpa. He is actually one of the artists who does mur uh, monastery mural paintings, um, as well as decorative art in the monasteries. This is uh, painted in cotton canvas with 24 karat gold. And well, the, the color is uh, the water soluble um, chemical pigment. Next, we have Sadhguja Mahakala with six arms, you know, standing. So this form of Mahakala is quite rare to find. This is also from the artist Pemba Lama, sorry, Pemba Sherpa. It's size 114 by 76 centimeter and completed in 2018. So this deity is actually relates with the Bajrayana system. Next, we have Tibetan astrological diagram. This is from the collection of Lama Thanka Center. Size is uh, 57 by 40 centimeter. Well, uh, this type of astrological diagrams were actually used uh, as um, auspicious talismans uh, to ward off, uh, you know, negative energies and also to bring fortune to the people as well as the place where they have this. Next, we have Vaishravana and 18 horsemen retinue. This is painted by artist Vinod Sherpa. Size is 107 by 74 centimeter, painted in cotton canvas, as well as chemical pigment. And the last of the artwork that we have here in the exhibition is the four-armed Mahakala. This is painted by artist Tek Bahadur Lama. Its size is 76 by 51 centimeter and 
actually the artwork is not complete yet. All right, this is still stretched in the iron frame. So with this, we have actually completed today's tour. And if we have questions, please, uh, I'm ready to answer now. Hello. Um, if you have any questions, please. I think that, 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 uh, there must be some uh, one from Aditya. I do expect. We have question from Aditya. Is he here? Aditya? See. Yeah, Aditya seems yes, to sir, be here. Yes, sir. Also, where is the question? Ah, <laughs> break a leg. Yeah, I broke a leg now. <laughs> well, it's your yes. day to break the leg. Well, I just want to say to Meena that it's a very right. beautiful presentation that you're giving. It's lovely to see that you got so many beautiful, uh, amazing thangkas in your collection and the way you're bringing out to this world, to everyone, that's really amazing. So, you. you know, like all hats off to you. I Thank wish you. I could have been there to see in person. <laughs> but you are seeing one, you know, like uh, the best thing about the technology is that you don't have to be mm. here in person, right? You can see but it and feel it. Indeed. You know, there were actually a lot of beautiful events that happened. I actually wanted to share a presentation, but because I'm outside and also mm -hmm. the network is not very stable, I could not share it. But there were moments in which, you know, the grandparents they actually brought their you know, grandchildren which was really amazing, you know, them looking at their grandparents' uh, work. I mean, like, I, I'm pretty sure they didn't understand anything, but it was a sort of very overwhelming moment for, you know, for us. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's, yeah. it's like amazing. Uh, like, it's truly beautiful, a surreal feeling, right. I must say. But uh, so just, um, you know, like, I mean, like, um, can you please stress about the any changes that happened between mm -hmm. the older uh, painters, the older generation of the painters of Thangkas and the newer generation of painters? Have they modified any paint, you know, like any type of paint or threads or anything that has been brought into practice? If I finally hear the question. I'm seeing, uh, sir, like what I'm trying to say is that yes, the sir. question is that, my question is that, like, uh, has there been any changes? Yeah, but, but uh, uh, there is a big change. The I think artistic about, style, about the artistic style. Yeah, artistic style, yeah. There is a mm. big change in, uh, definitely, you see, the materials improve. There is no way that they, those materials are not improved. Even traditional ones improve, you see. So when the materials mm -hmm. improve, then the colors, the colors uh, psychology is also changed at that time. So this is, this is uh, the difference in between that uh, some artificial materials has took the place because the old materials mm -hmm. once became so expensive. So uh, they, the are all artists cannot use that because they cannot spend that much money on original materials. So mm -hmm. uh, exactly. Yeah. So, 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 so like, that's what so, I want to know. Like, uh, like yeah, how much so, so there is a imitation and this, uh, this, this kind of thing. But the uh, one mm -hmm. main theme is uh, the same, that it's a uh, 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 religious uh, input is there. All is Yes, exactly. Like, I can see that, like, the religious importance is given and the you know, like the details, the attention to the details of the yeah. bodhisattvas and the uh, the siddhas and the, you know, the Kal Chakra, like yeah. it has been depicted very perfectly to the absolute perfection. Indeed, kudos to the painters yeah. who have done this beautiful artwork, you know, like they have 
kept this artwork alive and you know like they are continuing to bring to us this beautiful traditional art style so like it's truly beautiful sir yeah that's that's true that's true so mm -hmm. where is meena meena are you there so like uh, her phone's battery is gone so so she log in any time soon like once she so, you know like she puts in charger so we say goodbye then because we only left with the yeah, mm -hmm. we have uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it's uh, so like, I guess, we, we uh, like, just wait if, if she uh, change the battery and come back. So we just mm -hmm. wait for her. To see. Otherwise, uh, she has completed the round, I think. And it's uh, like, it was very beautiful to see Meena giving us such a beautiful presentation. Yeah. <coughs> and, you know, like, and she... I she you know like she is being one of those musicologists like who took this initiative to put up such a beautiful exhibition like so that like people in her country and like people like we are like who are outside of our country yeah. can see that there is this artwork and we need to pay more attention to it even though like it's being sold yeah. you know like people like some people are aware but like the importance of it the hard work that has been put into making such a beautiful artwork yeah so in it is like it's really kudos to me now also sir yeah that's great yeah, yeah. <laughs> so what we should do let's say and we can we can call it you know like we can call it a day yeah or like I we, can I can, from... we can we can <laughs> ask uh, let's uh, there's one lama more benita Benita, we can ask Benita what is the situation. Mm, that is there. Like if she can come and she can give us some inputs, like yeah, how she sees it, so what's her viewpoint. So like we can have this question, sir. Yeah, Benita, are you there? Yeah, she is Right, sorry. The uh, battery died off. <laughs> yeah. Yes, so, Aditya, you were asking, sorry, can, could you repeat the question for me? No, I like it. Yeah, it's okay. Um, so, like, he did give a brief explanation. And you know, like, he explained it very beautiful. And, like, there was, like, this beautiful exchange of our thoughts between sir and I. So like, it's like amazing, you know, like uh, Mama sir like gave a very beautiful explanation to my question. The um, answer was like very beautiful. All right. I miss it. No, no, it's a, you, <laughs> see it in the recording might, now. Yeah, yeah. This, his question <laughs> was uh, very clear that uh, uh, from the older, uh, older form of this art, art and the newest form of thanka art what is the difference in between two mm -hmm. oh right so with java so your answer was i just uh, hit, hit something so that uh, he has by so that's it it was not appropriate answer it's a i just mm -hmm. i just Took him to the materials and all this change of materials, but not the. Uh, yeah, actually, that is there. All right. Um, you know, like uh, regarding the younger generation, and the difference between the artwork is that now uh, the younger generation are using a lot of new materials. You know, like the chemical waste, uh, the colors, and all. Previously, uh, most of the colors used be handmade. Uh, like mineral-based colors were used or plant-based colors were used, which were quite tough uh, and also more strict, you know, related with how the tankas were painted. Uh, so uh, if it's about the composition itself, there were very strict, uh, you know, 
uh, rules and regulations which were followed. But then if we talk about the present generation, they do follow iconography and iconometry of the Buddhist, uh, you know, Tanka, uh, Tanka art. But then, uh, you know, they are also actually exploring, you know, uh, more things like, um, you know, regarding the details of the uh, sceneries. And not just that, they are trying to bring more details in the work. The previous generation work was more like outlines because the tankas were actually used as, uh, uh, you know, like a spiritual mediums for meditation or for rituals and ceremonies. But then uh, now it has, uh, you know, shifted. So it has now shifted in a completely different manner of course there are people who are still following the traditional you know system where they are used for ceremonies and meditation but nowadays they are also used for decoration too so uh, the designs has changed because of that reason even though they do follow iconography iconometry the stories as well as the you know strict compositions um well yeah anything else that's great is it there Chapter. No, sir. No, sir. That would be all. Like you and she gave up. Mina gave a very beautiful explanation, and like it's amazing. You know, like I'm still in a daze to see that such beautiful. I just think that like how much the time consuming it might be for an artist to give that attention to the details. You see the eyes, you see the shape of the nose, the lips. In fact, the nails are drawn to the perfection. Yeah. <laughs> very true, one very day, true. One mm -hmm. day you have to travel to your village. Okay? Right. You have to bring us. This is like my request. I hope Javis sir also agrees to it. Then you go to your village, you meet up with some artist, and you just mm -hmm. give a presentation on iconometry, the sacred right. geometry, the sacred geometry that they use, you know, the entire process mm -hmm. from selecting like whether it be a silk material or a paper or anything to each and everything. Mm -hmm. I hope you do that one day. Right. <laughs> uh, hopefully. Hopefully, <laughs> I hope all our wishes come true. Yeah. Yeah. yeah seriously, I hope my this wish comes true. <laughs> yes, all right. So, is there so, any? You know, like we actually. Yeah. Is there Answer? any more question from someone? Mm hmm. Yeah, Emmanuel. Shivani. Yes, sir. Like uh, she's there, sir. Like uh, she'll just switch, uh, switch on her mic, sir. Oh, I see. So, uh, so sh uh, should we? Uh, Hello. Put, should I put this? Uh... Hello. Hello. How are you? Um. <laughs> Good evening, sir. Where are you? There is no poetry and no uh, discussions on art and all these things. So, where are you? Hello. Hello. Uh, firstly, though, I would like to say, sir, uh, uh, Meena's presentation is very beautiful, very informative. Yeah. Okay, and I'm so sorry uh, because um, I'm not. Right. Uh, <laughs> um, at, no, no, it's all right. It's all right. To attend the meeting uh, in right time because we are so busy to shift uh, Mumbai. Um, Bye. Yeah. Ah, great, great news. Oh, oh there is one, <laughs> uh, one uh, to another. Yes. And there is no. But uh, Mina, I would like to say that I am learned so lot of things uh, <laughs> for uh, your of your presentation. But, oh, sorry, by your presentation, and uh, especially the names of Siddhas and deities. Uh, this. And really, really, your presentation is so beautiful. Thank you. Hello. Thank you very much. It means a lot to me, you know. That's great, Shivani. That's great. Uh, so, so when you are moving to Bombay, 
uh, because uh, for my study. Study. Because, uh, sir, for my study. No, no, I uh, I don't say why. I said when you will be moving. Yeah. सर वो स्टडी के पर्पस से मुंबई जाना हो रहा है तो इसलिए आजकल के उसी की शिफ्टिंग में बहुत ज्यादा बिजी हैं तो आई एम सो सॉरी सर कि हम फ्रीक्वेंटली मतलब कि ठीक टाइम पे मीटिंग अटेंड नहीं कर पा रहे हैं ओ लड़की मैं पूछ रहा हूं कब जाना हो रहा है तुम्हारा मे बी शर टू और थ्री डेज अच्छा ठीक एंड यू विल लिव देयर या वी आर प्लान टू गो बाय By bike. By bike? Oh my yeah. God! From Nainital to Mumbai by bike. Yes, sir. Oh my God! You... <laughs> What risk you are taking? <laughs> oh, they are trying to be young. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe. So remember two, three songs in between. You see, there will be a chance oh. to sing. Uh, right. So, uh, what we say? I say I should stop the recording. Sure, sir. Actually, we have almost you know everything is uh, already 